D- DIY. DIYers, you know something I've never heard before? A true account of somebody who has graduated from an audio school. When you see these ads for schools like Full Sail University, MI Institute, I've met people who've attended. I haven't met many success stories in person. This is from a channel called Sound Learn. This gentleman here gives his account of if Full Sail University is a scam. So you're here for one reason, and that is to get the question answered, is Full Sail a scam? It's a long-winded answer, but if you're literally only here to ask that question, I will give you the answer. I don't think so. Uh Uh-oh. Okay, I'll give you some context. I graduated from Full Sail in 2011, It has now been over a decade since I graduated from Full Sail, and I made a career out of the thing that I learned at Full Sail. So is Full Sail a scam? No. I learned a lot of things at Full Sail that event. And no, this ain't no damn ad for Full Sail University, because y'all can see my video content. And no, I don't like the idea of these schools. We'll talk about that in a second. I made a living from the things that I learned at Full Sail. I'll give you some numbers. How much money I owed Full Sail after I went to Full Sail? Oh. I owed $72,000 roughly. Hey. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I need you to look at that number for a second and just breathe that in for a second. You know DeVry University, I don't know if it's still around, but DeVry University brought a representative from their school to come talk to my high school class about the benefits of going to DeVry. He turned around the room and he started to ask every one of the students, he said, what are you into? I bet you DeVry has something for you. He came to my black ass. He said, what you wanna do? I said, I wanna make music. He said, was that right? As he rubbed his hands together like Mr. Burns. I was like, what kind of music you make? I was like, hip hop. I'm a rapper or whatever. I'm a producer. He's like, is that right? But we talked after class. This DeVry representative came up to me and said, look, I ain't supposed to tell you this, but we got a new course coming up where we're going to teach students how to make polyphonic ringtones. This is way back in the ringtone era. He's like, we're going to make polyphonic ringtones. You could be the next person that is in charge of turning a 50 cent song into a ringtone. If you're lucky. Hell yeah, I'm interested. Told my pops. Went down to the school. My pop sat there and asked them questions. And one of the questions he asked is, what is the projected amount of money that he will owe? My pops looked at the numbers and it was very similar to this number right here. And he said, let's go, son. Thank God. I say that to say it showed me how predatory folks become when they know you your little ass is getting ready to graduate from high school. This is probably the most money your parents are going to ever spend. And the last time they'll even spend this near amount which i've been lucky enough to pay off through lots of diligent hard work but that did take almost a decade to pay off and the next number that i'm going to tell you makes that number even scarier and that number is that my class started with a roughly 120 something people in the class by the time i graduated there was only i think 19 of us churn rate is going to happen no matter where you're at right there's going to be there's going to be people who are going to drop off from any school but this man said that when he started at full sail university with all of his producer and engineering aspirations it was 100 students he said by the end of it it was 19 kind of 19 percent success rate are we talking and that's because people either dropped out failed some classes and got held back now the next number i'm going to tell you makes that number even scarier oh because shit. of those 19 people I'm pretty sure that I can count on one hand how many of those people actually are still working in the industry. He said amongst the 19 graduates of that hundred that started, only about up to five of them are actually still working in the music industry. What in the dream depletion happened here? I'm not going to put that all on full sale, but I think it's interesting how these numbers continue to keep keep depleting themselves. There's a lot of people who get into music who don't have a passion for music. Yes, we know that there's some people who get and they start to hear the truth about what's really expected of them. And they say, oh, hell no, this is not for me. But that's kind of ridiculous that only 5% of the people who actually enrolled that semester are still actively today working on music almost a decade later. I know what you're thinking. It's starting to sound a lot like Full Sail's a scam. But in my opinion, the biggest caveat of, I think, what makes people iffy about Full Sail is the way they market themselves. It's the gateway to your dream. (laughs) 
anytime you open up a commercial and this shit look like it could have been a template for a, a Disneyland commercial, I'm already suspect. Look at this shit. You got a damn uh, golf cart. Look like it's from year 20, 2052. You got folks jogging around the campus. Don't like they actually do music. You got this tour bus in the back. Because, you know, if you come to art school, you might go on tour, baby. Look at this driveway. It says dream on the driveway. Fucking sick. It's getting the mix just right. Are the lights always blue like this when I go in there? Do all the students come in here? Because according to this man, only 19% of them actually graduated. Is he one of the people that ain't graduate? And he taking up my seat as I'm sitting in the background over here, waiting for my turn? The way Full Sail and other specialized kind of colleges market themselves really just tries to appeal to the most wide possible audience. They want everyone who's ever had a creative thought in their mind consider going to Full Sail. It makes sense that when the barrier to entry is so low, you're gonna get a lot of people falling off the wayside. And Bingo! Bingo! When my mom took me down to the Recording Academy of Los Angeles, mind you, this is 2003. Things could have shifted in the last 20 years. But my mom took me down there because my pops was like, you're not going to no music school. These sound like they are a cash grab and it sounds like they can't guarantee you a job. Even though I didn't want to hear it at the time, he was very right. But my mom, who was into music, who got the, it understood my passion for it. She was like, baby, I'm going to take you down to the Los Angeles Academy. You know, we're going we're gonna to see what it's all about. And I'm going to give you my honest opinion. That was one thing that surprised me is that the only thing that they required that I did was that I had enough money to get into school. They asked me if I made music and how long I've been making it, but that wasn't a requirement for me to get into school. That concerned my mom because she was like, if it's that easy for people to just get in if they got the money, that's the only qualifier. Think about the lack of quality <laughs> that you could be surrounded by when it comes to the peers that are in the same room. You're not thinking about that because you're so excited about the idea of, I didn't gave damn near a decade plus of my life to the normal school traditional structure. Now I get to finally go to school for some music shit? It sounds like a dub. It's a big ass W. No, fam, no. Ask these questions. Before you watch anything else in this video, I want you to understand that this industry, any creative industry, is not an easy industry to get into. And every single person will tell you that. But every person who goes to a place like Full Sail or Art Institute or any of these places, has that thing in their head that says, I'm different, I'm special, <laughs> I'm gonna do it better. And that is the reason why people continue to get taken advantage of. One of the biggest reasons I believe, no matter how many horror stories, everybody feels like, but what if things are different with me? I'll be better, I am better. Like, there's no way that can happen to me. I bet you right now to somebody watching this video, Who's like, okay, so what? Only 19 people of the 100 actually graduated. I'm going to be one of the people that are actually the last five standing. Are we just going to make the assumption that the last five standing are also happy? <laughs> what if it's just a job for them and they're so locked into it because they've already invested the majority of their life and because they paid all that money that they got to now pay back the debt for and so they better stick to it. What about the amount of those five that are working multiple jobs to support their living. You want to see the next person that's going to get taken advantage of? Look at the person that thinks they're always the exception to the rule. Somebody's waiting to sell them snake oil. Another big misconception about places like Full Sail is that by going to Full Sail, you will automatically get connected and networked with the biggest professionals in the industry. That was my mom's number one question. God bless my mama. Two questions she had. Can you guarantee that my son will get a job if he does all the things that you're telling him he needs to do? That's when they start scratching their neck. Uh, I mean, there's no guarantees in any of this, right? This is when you're supposed to tell the parent, look, I understand your concern. I'm a father myself. All that we're doing, we're telling us success stories of their best, best case scenario. Second question she asked, my mother asked, was what are the success stories out of this school? And how many of them come back to the school? Once again, questions my young dumbass wasn't going to ask at that point in time. But these are the questions you got to ask of any school that you go to. And they should be able to provide you undeniable stats of that. The thing that Full Sail does that gives it a bad rep is how it markets itself. It's doing what you love every day. So, <laughs> it's doing what you love every day. I look like, I look like, I look like one of them, one of them churches you see on cable. That's not on accident. The music in the background looks like praise and worship at somebody church. Even with the lyrics in the background, it don't say Jesus up there, but it says, do what you love every day. Who is singing that in a song? It seemingly promises you Nasty that word. sort of limelight. 
exposure. It really tries to sell itself as a launching pad for your career. And what ends up happening is you start getting a lot of people who maybe aren't ready, maybe haven't put in the work, maybe don't even know what they really want. No shit. Kind of get starry eyed and hop right into going to full sale. So if there's anything you take away from this video, it's not that full sale is a scam. It's that if you're going to full sale, understand that you're going to learn a technical skill. It will not put you in front of a producer that's going to hear your beats or your production or your singing or your coding skills or anything like that. It is not a fast lane to the rock star life. I can tell you that right now. Shout out to him for being as transparent as possible and as objective as possible about what that experience is like, or at least was like for himself. There is no one size fits all experience that everybody's going to experience. But the idea of a traditional school in this modern day music industry seems so backwards, especially when you think about how quickly things develop how quickly tools evolve. Instagram as it is today is not the Instagram that it was four months ago. YouTube as it is today wasn't even the same YouTube it was yesterday. If somebody is giving you an experience to prepare you for the music industry, you would hope that they offer you things that are not only of the time, but of a cutting edge nature. That commercial got me in tears. We are a place where creative dreamers go to learn their craft. Let's get a nice little spoken word message in the background with some stomping drums so you hippity hoppities know we're not here to play around. We are full sale universe. Wow, those are my peers? It's like every single race in there. We take dreams seriously. Uh, I feel bad for the younger me who would have been so, I would have been so moved by that. It's going beyond playing games and actually creating it. Damn, y'all be making games there? Everybody in my life told me that there's no future in gaming. It's doing what you love every day. Y'all be having concerts there? <sighs> Stop the cap. Yes, you can be in an environment that could do a lot of things for your networking, could put you in the same environment as people that could potentially change your life. Yeah, that could happen. You know what else could happen? You could go home and learn the part of this business you actually want to dominate. You could study so many of these things independently and take chances, be a practitioner and not somebody who theorizes about what to do next. You can go do the unsexy task, failing after failing after failing after failing until you start to get a little bit of light, a little bit of momentum. You can stay consistent at this and you can learn the hard way. You can meet some other people who see themselves in you and are able to give you insight that speeds up the process, cuts off years. That's also possible. But I have my issues with these schools because I truly feel like they're not made to keep up with the world as it is today. I would just say this, if you're gonna go $72,000 in the hole, I would much rather you go $72,000 in the hole launching on your ideas, making your own investments, and seeing it for what it is specifically for you. Or you can go to Disneyland. It's doing what you love every day. Those are my thoughts. What do y'all think? DIY. DIYers, if you enjoyed this content, make sure that you hit the like button and maybe even consider subscribing. Come on, man. Stop, stop being greedy. Peace.